Hi and welcome to this edition of Caricature Studio Tutorials. This time we're going to take a look at creating Old West style wanted posters, just like the kind you see at the fair. So the first step to creating a wanted poster is to create the photo. And in this case, you'll see we've selected a very popular screen actor. You probably recognize him. And the first step is just to add a few caricature effects. Uh, you can get as crazy as you want here, but for demonstration purposes, we'll just apply a few basic effects here. Uh, the first one is the warp tool, and we'll use that to pull in his face a little bit, make his mouth bigger, and then we'll use the putty tool, pull out his cheek there a bit, push in the side of his face. Remember, you can do as much as you want here. We're just uh, doing this for demonstration purposes. Okay, and uh, because it is a wanted poster, how about if we insert a cowboy hat from the clip art library? So we'll uh, put a hat on Tom, and we'll resize it a bit to fit his enormous head. And there you have it. What we're doing here is we're just resaving the photo before we move on. And what that does is it uh, prevents the possibility that you overwrite the original photo keeping the original intact. Okay, now what we're going to do is apply a sepia filter. And a sepia filter will kind of give it an old photo look, as you'll see here. Just gives it a, a kind of a tint. And we're going to apply one additional filter. This is a comic filter called Comic Grain. And you'll see what it does. It just kind of gives it a grainy appearance that will look good on the, on the actual poster. So now we have the photo ready to insert into the poster. Okay, now we've got our finished photo, so we'll go ahead and open up the wanted poster template. Uh, we'll pan out a little bit so you can see the entire poster. That's what the template looks like. So what we want to do now is insert the picture we just created and overlay it into the poster template. Okay, there's Tom. It's a little big, so we'll go ahead and resize it. Just drag the corner, resize it to the appropriate size, move it into the center. Now we're going to add some custom text. And uh, you can add text to any caricature you create with Caricature Studio. You'll notice the poster says wanted for the crimes of. So we'll go ahead and charge Tom with a most heinous crime to add to the poster. And there you have it. Okay, so now we've got the basic text inserted. But hey, why stop there? The next thing we're going to do is insert a talk bubble so that we can make Tom say something really funny. So we'll insert a talk bubble. And uh, let's just move it up here to the top right area of the poster. We'll reduce it down a little bit so that it fits better. And once again, we'll bring up the text tool. Remember, you can choose any size font and any font within your uh, Windows folder that's installed on your system. We'll just use an Arial 18-point um, here. If it's a little big, it's fine. We'll just drag it down a little bit, just like that. And there you have it. There's your finished wanted poster. 